And First Coast News anchor Heather Crawford has been looking into this story. She joins us live now in the newsroom. Heather. Jeannie and Anthony, I had a chance to sit down with the substitute teacher who was let go, and we also spoke with the school district inside the school library. I walked in and saw shelves that were empty. Brian Covey tweeted this video of empty bookshelves in the Mandra Middle School Library in late January. Since then, it's been viewed more than 5 million times. That's exactly what people were saying weren't happening. Uh, so I just wanted to share e into the abyss of social media uh, what was the reality that I could see with my own two eyes. The substitute teacher and father of two says he wanted to document what was happening in the district after seeing empty or inaccessible bookshelves in classrooms and the library at his children's elementary school. Obviously, I, I, I knew the risks that I was taking going into this by leaving the video up and continuing to talk about it, uh, but at the same time, uh, my children's education, my children's understanding of the world and seeing that their father's willing to go at the bat for, for them uh, is more important to me. In the weeks since posting the video, he says he continued to teach. On Tuesday, the video got additional attention. Actually, you know, that video, that was a fake narrative. That was not true. First and Coast News asked first. Governor Ron DeSantis about the video at a press conference. It's all politically motivated, but what the Department of Education, I've asked them, I said, talk to these school districts. Tell, are there books that, that, that are problematic? You, are you really removing? And make them justify what they're doing. The next day, Covey says he was fired. They told me that my services were no longer required in Duval County. Or, or period, and it was because I violated their social media and cell phone policy. They had received multiple complaints. I, this is the first time I'd heard about it. I had had no communication from them or anybody in the school board. A joint statement from the school district and ESS, the company that hires the district's substitute teachers, said Covey's video was a misrepresentation and his firing was the result of, quote, the disruption this misrepresentation has caused. School District spokesman Tracy Pierce agreed with the governor's assessment of the video. It may be jarring to see empty bookshelves. People can apply their own judgment, but it's a false accusation given the fact that more than half of the books, probably two thirds or more, are completely available to kids. We went to the library ourselves Wednesday and fiction shelves were empty, but the nonfiction shelves were full. Covey's video is just one of several on social media showing empty shelves and covered books. They say it's a misrepresentation, but on the other side of the library, they literally had tables, whiteboards, TVs, everything stacked in front of the other books. That's storage to me. When you have empty shelves all over the library and you have books stacked in front of each other, that's storage. Now, the district says at no time should a classroom have been without reading resources. The Duval County School District, like all others in Florida, is required to review school books and to make sure that they comply with the new state laws, including the Stop Woke Act and the Parental Rights and Education Law. The district says there are 1.6 million titles that the roughly 54 media specialists in the district have to review. So far, about 6,000 of them have been approved. And you can read the district's full statement about the book reviews in this story on FirstCoastNews.com. Anthony?